Now to achieve the 720 degrees peplum, I need 360 degrees into two. That is, I'll be cutting the 360 degrees peplum into two pieces. Now for me to do that, my waist measurement is 36 inches divided into two because I'm cutting it into two, divided into two to give me 18 inches. Now 18 divided into 6.28, which is the measurement for achieving a peplum. I'm having 18, by the time I divide 36 into two, it will give me 18 inches. 18 inches divided into 6.28. It will give me two three quarter. That is the radius will be two three quarter. So I will mark two three quarter for the radius. But first of all, the measurements I'm working with here is 12 by 12 inches. Remember, my fabric is unfolded into four. Now 12 by 12. And is unfolded into four pieces. You make sure the edges are aligned. Then I will mark my two three quarter. Now for the length. Remember, the length of the top is twenty five inches minus seventeen inches. So by the time. I remove 17 inches from 25 inches. It will give me nine inches. So I'll be adding extra one inch allowance. That is 10 inches. So I'll cut 10 inches. The radius is two three quarter, 10 inches for the peplum side. From this radius, I'm taking my measurement, not from the tip. Then I'll join the lines together. I'll leave it aside to cut the second one before I'll trim off the radius. Now I'll take the first one and place it. My fabric is unfolded into four pieces. Now I'll place this double side into double side. Then I'll cut. Now cut out the radius. I'm cutting out the radius now. So I'm having two peplum tops. I'll open up one side. Now swirl. So by the time I open it, I'm having two peplum. The next thing I will do now is to go ahead and cut the lining. I will first start with the peplum. Now for the lining, I will place it the same way I folded my fabric and I place the double side 
to the double side of the lining as well. Then I'll cut our swirl, cut the radius side. This is the west line. Then pick the second one the same way. Now I'll place the second one as well. I will swear cut it out. I'll go ahead and open up the first folding. The same thing to this one. Now I'm having two lining and two peplum. The next stage is to start sewing it. Then I'll do to pick my peplum like so. I'll open it up and as well open the second one. And I place it right side facing each other. Now I'll go to my sewing machine and sew only one side, leaving the second side open. Because of my zipper, I'll only sew one side of it. The same thing to the lining as well. I will open it up. And place it together and sew one side. After then I will show you the next thing I will do. Now I've added my crinoline. I sewed it with the lining together. And I went ahead and added hemming gum for it to be smooth. Because if you sew on top of this, it's gonna be rough so i added hemming gum to make it to be smooth and neat so the next thing i will do now i will open it up like so and i'll top stitch from the lining side i'm going to top stitch through I'll top stitch it round. So after that, I'll show you the next thing I will do. Now I've top stitch this side. So the next thing I will do is to sew this edge. So what I will do is to bend it. Now, the next thing I will do is to, to close up these two sides. But because of this, this air, you know, is having crinoline. So I will just fold in the same inch that will rhyme this edge. So that it will not show when I turn it. You will not see the line. You just see some inches of the cloth that, you, that came out. So I will just stop stitch this side and as well just fold it in to the length of this seam allowance small and close it. After then I will show you the next thing I will do. Now I've closed up the two sides. I will go ahead and turn it out to the right side. Now I've turned it inside out to the right side. 
the next thing I'll do now is before I'll, I'll top stitch is to iron. So I'll iron it very well so that it becomes straight. I'll top stitch the west line. So I'll go now and iron. So guys, I've already ironed it. So the next thing I will do, that is the last thing to do, is to top stitch this waist line. So I'll go to my sewing machine now and top stitch. So guys, this is the final look of the peplon. You can see, you can then plant it the way you want. Go ahead and plant it. You can see it's standing already. So I would like you to try yours. I hope this video is helpful. I want you to drop your comment at the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So guys, you can decide to plant it anyhow you want. The peplum is already standing. I hope this video is helpful. If you like it, I want you to drop your comment at the comment section. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Share to your friends. So guys, in my next video, I will show you how to Plant it and attach it to your top. And see you in my next video. Bye. Never stop, don't get it if I want it. I gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. Yo. No, I ain't the type to give up If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want